Hello students. Today we are starting with a new chapter of biotechnology, biotechnology principle and processes. So first of all, uh, let's know what is biotechnology. So if I'll say a very simple definition, biotechnology is a technology in which we are using the biological system. So we are using biological system. Biological system can be any uh, biological organisms, suppose a bacteria, a plant, or an animal. And to use these organisms for the human benefits. This is just a simple definition of biotechnology. We are using the various biological systems to create them, to modify them, and we are using them for the human benefits. Okay. But according to European Federation of Biotechnology, one more definition is given. The integration of natural science and organisms like cells, part thereof, and molecular analogs for products and services. Okay, so we are using various biological organisms to produce certain products and to give certain services, again for the benefits of human beings. So what is the principle of biotechnology? Process. Okay, so principle of biotechnology process is genetic engineering, recombinant DNA technology. So here uh, in NCRT, there are two core techniques under which we will see how exactly we are using biotechnology to generate something for the human benefits. So here we'll talk about genetic engineering and bioprocess engineering. In detail, we will see in the next slide. Okay, so what is genetic engineering? Okay, I will give you a very simple example. We, how may we are making curd? We are using a lactobacillus bacteria and we are adding it into milk and uh, after some time, if you see, the milk is converted into curd, right? How this happens? Because this bacteria is doing something uh, to convert milk into curd, right? So this is naturally available. So this is nothing but the basis of biotechnology. We know that this is happening. We are using various microbes to generate something which is useful for us, right? But now in the modern uh, biotechnology, this was, uh, this we can say that this is a uh, old biotechnology, right? There are many other examples also. And if we talk about some uh, modern uh, biotechnology techniques, there, we are using some uh, biological organisms like bacteria. We are modifying them so that we can uh, withdraw some more benefits from them. Okay. For example, for example, if some human is having insulin deficiency and that's why that person is uh, affected by diabetes, then how to correct it? Okay. Initially, uh, insulin was taken out from other animals and injected into human, but there were uh, various rejections and uh, side effects. Okay, so what human has done? So because uh, inside human we have a gene which is coding for insulin. Okay, suppose this is the gene which is coding for insulin. Right. So same gene. If I will inject same gene into a bacteria. Bacteria will also produce, uh, can produce insulin. Okay. That insulin we can easily use to treat the diabetic people. Again, this process is very complicated, but again, we can use it, right? So we can use it, we can uh, generate insulin in the artificially and we can treat diabetic people. I like that, there are various examples. Okay, so how to do this? How to do this? For that, we have various points. I will discuss all points one by one. Let's see. Let me erase this. So in this slide, I will discuss. Uh, I will discuss just an overview. I will give detail of every process. We will see in few of the next classes or maybe in the detailed class. Okay. So first, uh, 
point is to find gene of interest to find gene of interest if i want to make insulin in the lab i have to find insulin gene okay that will be taken from the cells of the human okay. and again there are there are various processes to find the gene and all then finding a cloning vector when i have to put uh, this gene suppose this is the gene if i want to put this gene into bacteria i need a cloning vector because this dna cannot multiply and cannot remain in the bacteria by itself so for that i need a vector and that vector is nothing but plasmid we know what are plasmids right? like these are self replicating bodies okay so this plasmid i have taken i have taken this is called gene of interest this is called gene of interest this is called plasmid or also called as cloning vector okay next is forming the recombinant dna by taking those those two dna from different sources i will combine together and i will form a new dna so this is plasmid and i will insert my gene of interest into this plasmid so i have inserted the gene of interest which is the gene of insulin so here uh, there are two dna from different sources and that's why it is called as recombinant dna what is it recombinant dna again there are so many details under this how it forms so this dna cannot multiply by its own so one dna if i have only one dna it cannot code for enough insulin i need multiple copies of this recombinant dna so what will i do now i will take a bacteria there are various kind of bacteria like e coli or other bacteria we can take i i will take a bacteria i will put this recombinant dna inside a bacteria so now my gene of interest has come inside right and bacteria has the ability to multiply it so now i will be having multiple copies of my gene right if i have multiple copies of my gene then the probability of formation of gene of interest converting into protein will be more so there will be more and more insulin this bacteria can form okay so uh, this technique is called cloning cloning and gene transfer cloning uh, uh, sorry this is called gene transfer i have transferred this recombinant dna into bacteria which is called gene transfer okay now next next step is cloning what is cloning so when i am putting this bacteria into a required nutrient media yahan pe i have taken a, a nutrient media a nutrients which are uh, good for bacteria bacteria can multiply in in it okay so i will put this uh, recombinant bacteria what is it called recombinant bacteria it is also called genetically modified organism now this bacteria is genetically modified because we have inserted our gene of interest into bacteria so same bacteria if i will put in a nutrient media now there will be multiplication of bacteria by binary fission okay so there will be multiple copies of the same bacteria which is called as gene cloning now my gene has cloned multiple times right because now i have multiple bacteria which is having the same gene okay so uh, and uh, the bacteria in which we are inserting the or uh, this uh, recombinant dna will be called as host it can be e coli or it can be any bacteria okay so like this if i have i will be having multiple copies of uh, bacteria there will be huge amount of production of insulin i have taken here example of insulin otherwise there are various examples uh, you can uh, take right you can take the example of vaccine enzymes hormones etc one more uh, step is processing just this step after that there are uh, downstreaming processes to uh, extract this uh, product that which is called bio process engineering under bio process engineering what we will do okay so uh, now there are multiplication of bacteria there are a lot of bacteria and we can convert it into a large scale okay here we have to take care, take care that 
this growth of this particular bacteria should be very sophisticated uh, in very sterile environment so that other bacteria will not contaminate it okay so we have to uh, grow them uh, in very sterile condition providing them good amount of uh, nutrients and uh, harvesting the product okay so all these uh, uh, processes should be very sterile very sophisticated which is called bioprocess engineering Okay, so we can have to extract the insulin, we have to process it, we have to fill it in the small, small bottles, and then we have to export it. That will all come in the bioprocess engineering. This was about uh, the beginning lecture. Be there in the actual class to understand it uh, in a better way. Thank you, students.